Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a video all about my working decks for the month of November. As you guys know, um, usually, it's usually throughout the seasons, but sometimes, like specifically Halloween time, which is October, I will pull out specific decks for that month. So for the month of November, I decided I wanted to put away most or, or pretty much all of my um, Halloween theme decks and I'm pulling out the decks that I want to work with for the month of November. Um, so I have here a basket full of cards. Not kidding. <laughs> Literally have a basket full of cards here. Um, and I'm just going to go through them and show you guys the ones that I will be working with. Some of them you have seen me work them um, in readings. So you will see some familiar cards but then some of them I have never filmed with so it'll be exciting to see these guys pop up in client readings or um, in photos for email readings and that whatnot and if you guys see anything that you like or are curious about the majority of the decks that I pulled are still available to purchase. Um, just a couple of them are um, out of print but other than that you can still get your hands on them. So I hope you guys enjoy and keep watching. Okay, so the first thing is let's do all of the tarot decks first. I think that would be a good way to go through this. So the first one I'm pulling out is the Mythic Tarot. I actually purchased this the other day. Um, I got this one at Barnes & Noble, so it's available there. Um, or you can probably find it on Amazon. Mythic Tarot, this is actually the second edition. There is a first edition of this deck that was... Um, that came out I think in the 80s and I want to say there's another one there's like two different ones I think the card backs are different for both of those but both of those versions are out of print so the newest reprinted version is this the new mythic tarot um, and it's available for purchase like I said Barnes & Noble I got it there you could probably pick it up at Amazon um, I have not read with this deck yet so every deck that I get brand new I have to purchase I mean I have to purchase I have to read for myself with first before I read for anyone else so I got to make sure I do that it comes in a really big box um, that I think I'm gonna keep it in the box rather than putting it in a deck bag um, but I'm not gonna be going through each card by card so don't worry about that it has a huge gigantic guidebook which I really love because if you are a beginner tarot reader this will be really good for you to learn and the cards themselves it's real thin cardstock purple backs and really cute imagery so why did I choose this deck um, <laughs> I've been seeing it pop up a couple times in photos and I'm really looking for what is the word newer tarot decks that don't represent Rider weight. I love Rider weight, as you guys know I have multiple Rider weight decks but I really want to kind of kind of pull away from Rider weight so much I want um, other tarot decks that I could reach for that I could still read with for clients but they're not necessarily Rider weight uh, imagery I want to pull away from that that said another deck that I really like is the Gaian tarot so the Gaian Tarot um, is not so much Rider weight imagery. Mythic Tarot follows it somewhat. There's some stuff that I saw that is different. But the Gaian Tarot is really, really different. Um, this is it comes with its own gigantic guidebook. <laughs> um, I want to say there is an out-of-print version of this, but I am not 100% familiar with that. So don't, don't, um, don't take my word for it. The cards are really big. That's the other thing. I've seen a lot of people who actually trim off the white borders. Um, the cards are really big. This is the backs. And the images are actual real people. So they're like, I don't want to say they're pic like photographs, but they kind of do. I don't know. I can't, I don't really know how to explain that kind of artwork. But as you could see, it's real pic people. Um, so if you're not into that, you may not like this deck. And I'm kind of borderline on that. Like, I don't mind real people in the imagery. Um, but if it gets to be too distracting, I find that too difficult to read with. But for some reason, this deck really called to me. So I wanted to own it for that reason. I wanted to be like, like I said, I want to branch away from Rider Waite and do more 
other kinds of tarot decks. So this was another one that I feel like I think I'll, I'll really enjoy. It goes really well with the earth element. The earth elements are like all four elements, I should say, not just earth. It has a nature feel to it, but for some reason this was calling to me for the month of fall, for the, for the season of fall. So we'll see how that works. The next tarot deck I have is the Pagan Otherworlds tarot. I believe this is the second edition. I want to say there is a third edition that came out or is coming out. Don't know for sure, but I've heard. Um, but the Pagan Otherworlds has a, it has like a wintry fall feel to it. So I'm not going to show you all the cards. So let's just take out a couple. Um, the card backs are very like, to me, this is like real vintage, like old, um, typical, like playing card backs, you know, they're really pretty, real, real vintage looking. And then the cards themselves are real simple. Um, real Marseille. I think that's what we call it, Marseille or Pip deck. Um, the imagery is simple. It's I love it. It's it really gets your intuition going. So if you're looking for a deck that really challenges your intuition and you're not relying so much on the imagery, this would be a really good one to work with. And the people involved in the deck are very subtle. So I think it's something that a lot of people can connect with. There's a temperance. <laughs> so that is the Pagan Other Worlds. And like I said, I believe the one I have is, I believe I have the second edition. I purchased it, used on Facebook. Okay. The Good Tarot. This one I think is I'm, I'm going to actually keep it out through um, the winter season because this deck really makes me think of winter. The, the blues and the greens in the deck, the card backs. Um, I don't know. I, it just gave me a winter feel. But I also feel uh, like the fallish too because fall and winter are pretty much the same in my opinion. Um, so I think this deck is really beautiful. The imagery is gorgeous. I've used it in pictures on Instagram for the dailies. Um, it really gives you a feel of all of the different elements. So you have like water, you have fire, um, the, the just beautiful pictures. So um, this one really isn't a fave. It does not follow right away, which is really nice, like I said trying to pull away from that I'm trying to um, evolve <laughs> evolve my reading style um uh, what other tar tarot deck do I have here I have the moon child tarot I actually just obtained this one when did it come in two months ago maybe maybe more than that I don't know but I have not really used this deck yet but I was going through the cards and I really like this one more so than the Star Child Tarot. The Star Child Tarot is, oh, that's like the one deck that I wanted to love, but I couldn't connect with it, but I still own it. Like I, I actually, I sold my original, like the first edition and then I regretted it and I purchased um, the Akashic, Akashic edition. Um, and it's it still has borders. I don't mind borders, they don't bother me. Um, because I regretted selling my first edition. I should not have sold that deck. But I, I sold it. The person who purchased it loves it. Um, so it was meant to be for them. But I regretted it. So <laughs> I had to obtain another copy before they became super, super expensive. Because once decks go out of print, depending on the deck, I mean, they can be fucking expensive. So anyway, Moonchild Tarot is probably the better version. I really like this one. And this one gives me a fall feel. I think it's the golds in it, um, but it's also winter feel. So this th this deck might, if I love it enough, this deck might fall into winter as well. A lot of these are going to probably do that because, like I said, fall and winter are very similar to me. Um, so anyways, and the box itself is gorgeous. So this is the Moon Child Tarot. Um... I pulled a lot of Oracle decks this time, you guys. 
I think that's it. Oh, no. The Golden Rider. This is the other tarot deck. Of course, I have to have a Rider weight. As like I like I told you guys, I love Rider weight. Golden Rider is one that I have wanted for so long. And when I finally got it, I was so excited. So the ba the backs look like this. It is a Rider weight deck, but it is different in the sense of the artwork, the color scheme. It has a gold feel to it. It's beautiful. My copy is, I think it's French. Yeah, I have the French edition, but that's okay. Cause I know, I know the images so well, I don't need to know. I don't need it to be in English, <laughs> but isn't it beautiful? I feel this is the ultimate fall deck. I mean, I think it's just because of the golds. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. So Golden Rider is going to pop up a lot, probably more so than all the other ones <clears throat> in my client readings. So get ready for that. Oh, one more. Last but not least, the Victorian Romantic Tarot. This is the third edition. So first and second editions are actually out of print, um, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, but the third edition, this is the metallic edition. It's available still. And, um, if you guys are always, if you've ever been curious about Baba Studios decks, I'm obsessed. This is the card box. Very beautiful. Um, it's a metallic edition. So there's metallic overlays, as you can see. Little bits and pieces there. Most of the imagery is the same um, in this deck. Here's one you might be able to see better. <laughs> you can see that the metallic is all here and in her dress. Um, most of the imagery is the same. So if you are familiar with the um, Victorian Romantic, you will see similarities. But there are some, some pictures that are very different. Um... I can't tell you off the bat which ones, but this is a deck that I freaking love. I remember when I first obtained, I think it was the second edition I got. Um, I was so excited because this was one of those that I really wanted in my collection. And yeah, it's beautiful. So I highly, highly, highly recommend Victorian Romantic Tarot. This is probably one that will go into winter. Victorian Romantic Tarot has always been um, a winter deck for me. But I wanted to bring it out for fall. Oh, what an ugly angle. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You can see my big old belly. Um, okay, let's do the Oracle decks. Because I have a lot of those. First off, the one in the deck bag because there's no box to this one. The Native Spirit Oracle. I don't even know what happened to my box. <laughs> but this is it. This is the Native Spirit. For some reason, this one was really calling to me. I like to use this deck mostly for personal readings. Um, I don't really like to pull this for for clients. Um, mainly because I have to, you have to use the guidebook for this deck. It's so, um, it goes into deep detail and it gives you kind of like things to think about for healing or for journaling. Um, but I mean, look at how beautiful. So I pulled this deck with, with a lot of hesit hesitancy. I wasn't sure if this was something that I really wanted to be reading for other people. Um, but I figured, you know, if I, I'm feeling called to pull it out for a reason, so there might be a client, there might be just one client out of the whole month where I'm going to feel called to use this deck for. So I'm trusting my vibe on that, um, but if I do feel called to use it for a client, it'll probably just be a single card as like as an added bonus to the reading, as uh, instead of like just using this deck only, because like I said, this is more so a, a very private deck for me. <laughs> I get so much out of it, but it goes in so it, it it's it's so deep for me. I don't like to use it for clients because I just think. I feel like you have to go through that journey yourself, like in private, 
to obtain those kind of messages. Okay, the Divine Circus Oracle. This one has been sitting in the bottom of my drawer for so long um, that I finally feel called to pull it out. So the deck itself has really cute circus tent card backs. It's circus related. This is another deck where um, I use the guidebook a lot. So um, I have the guidebook with me. <laughs> it is a beautiful deck. The images are gorgeous. They, they show up really lovely on photos. Um, but it, like I said, it's a very insightful deck. So it goes into detail. Um, and like I said, this would probably be either a single card pull for a client versus like the entire reading being done in it. The Isis Oracle, this is another one that I felt called to pull. I don't know. I was just getting like feelings. So maybe I'm already tapping into the type of readings I'm going to be doing for people. But um, it's very um, goddess energy. It's like very... Well, <laughs> showing the wrong side. It's just, it's beautiful. It's empowering. It's really good for past life stuff. It's really good for, you know, spiritual journey kind of readings. So there might be a couple of those clients coming through this month. Maybe that's why I'm feeling called to do it. But Isis is really, um, just a, I feel, I, I find her as a very empowering character. Um, and, and just, really really good so <laughs> she decided to make an appearance this time I don't use this deck as often again this is another one that I like to use for myself I tend to use more oracle decks for myself personally than um for clients so <laughs> I noticed that too when I was um putting together what decks I wanted to use for this month I was noticing that I own probably a good 50 percent more oracle decks than I do tarot decks. It was really interesting because I thought it was the opposite. Okay. The Gaian Oracle. <laughs> Gaia. Gaia Oracle. I actually got this one in a trade. So this one was cool because this one had always been on my radar. I just never bought it. I was always attracted to the backs. I love the heart. And the artwork is by that artist. Oh, what is his name? Tony Carmine Salerno. Um, he does the um, the Art of Love tarot that I use every once in a while. Um, the Goddesses, Angels, Gods, and Goddesses Oracle that I have. I really like his artwork. His, his stuff is really pretty. Um, it's really intuitive. I find it just really simple, but it's gorgeous at the same time his characters that he draws. Let me see if there's not so much in this deck. I don't know. There's just something about his artwork I really like. The, the his um the art of love art of love tarot, that one is a really good one. So you'll see that one. That one's popped up in previous client readings. But that is this the Gaia Oracle. Um <laughs> <laughs> this is an oldie but a goodie, but I actually purchased a brand new copy of this deck because my old one was um, falling apart. The Psychic Tarot for the Heart. And the, the cardstock in my older version, which I actually, I sent it off to someone. Um, <laughs> sometimes the boxes are so hard to open. The cardstock in this newer version is actually the, the cardstock I prefer. It's thinner. And it's, this one is golded, golded, gold gilded edges. Look at this. The one that I had before that was like super cardboard thick cardstock. And it was like impossible to shuffle. So I really like this one. I'm glad I got this version. But it's like real thin cardstock so it makes it easier to shuffle. But as you guys know, you've seen Psychic Tarot and the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. These, the, these decks are like... The imagery is not my favorite, but for some reason, it's freaking, it's so intuitive. Like, I get the best readings from these decks. So, <laughs> I pulled the Psychic Tarot for the heart because I know there's going to be a lot of love readings popping up, and that is my go-to. The other one is the Psychic Tarot. You guys have seen that one for uh, forever. <laughs> I've owned this deck almost as long as I have been reading tarot. 
So it's all nice and it used to be silver edged. Or no, it, maybe it was not silver. It's hard to tell now. No, it used to be gold. But it's all coming off and flaky. <laughs> because this deck is so used. But I freaking love it. So the Psychic Tarot, the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. You will be seeing a lot of those in the readings. Um, here's an out of print deck. The Victorian Flower Oracle. Um, I decided to pull this one, especially if I'm going to be reading with the Victorian Romantic. I figured this one could be an oracle pool that, that I could go along with the deck. Sometimes I like to do that. Like Sometimes I like to match my oracles and my tarots together. Some, some of them just go really well together. So it's a Baba Studios deck. Unfortunately, this one is out of print. So <laughs> if you get your hands on it. It's usually $120 plus dollars. I've been seeing it for $170, um, even $200, depending on if it's a box set or not, um, on eBay. So if you want to get your hands on a copy, it's going to be a little expensive. This was one of those decks that I all like I wanted for a long time. <laughs> when I was looking for mine, um, I actually hunted it down. I was searching on both eBay and Amazon. And at the time, eBay didn't have any of them available, but it was like when you're not looking for it, it's never there. Or when, or when you're not looking for it, it's always there. When you are finally looking for it and ready to buy, you can't find one, right? So I was hunting it down and I couldn't find, <laughs> I couldn't find one. Nothing was on eBay and I was surprised. And then one popped up on Amazon and the guy that was selling it put a little tidbit saying the deck was haunted. But I, I thought that was so intriguing and I was like, that's meant to be. And I ended up purchasing it. And I actually did a video about, is my deck haunted? So there's a video about this. <laughs> but I just thought that was really interesting. Okay, um, I pulled the Gypsy Oracle cards. These are not cards I pull often that it's more it's a Lenormand deck um I don't know how to read Lenormand but I do read them intuitively so this is another one of those that I pulled because I felt like it would go um alongside a reading for someone I don't know it'll be interesting to see how the month plays out because I feel like I have been <laughs> intuitively feeling called to pull certain decks because I'm going to be using or I'm going to be needing them for certain readings. Um, it was just really interesting. Sorry guys, I'm getting like mucosa because my allergies are flaring up. Let me stop the video. Hang on. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I needed to blow my nose. I was like getting like, you know that feeling when you have to sneeze? Oh, it's awful. Okay. We're almost done. We have like three more. Four more. <clears throat> this is called Magic and Manifestation Affirmation Cards. I have not used this deck in so long. And when I remembered that I had it, I was like, I got to use this for fall. Look at this gorgeous backs. I've always loved the backs of this deck. The, the pictures are so intuitive. You could read them. Um, animals. Who doesn't love a ferocious lion? Um... I just think that this is beautiful. It was so well done. Um, I think that this deck is epitome of fall. It just gives me that feel. So I'm going to love pulling with this one. I could even do readings for clients with using just this deck, not even using a tarot. So that is the Magic and Manifestation Affirmation cards. I believe Ethany was selling them in her website, on her website. Um... I don't think these are in print anymore. I think that Ethany was selling like the last of her batch and that's all she was going to have. I don't know if the actual creator of the deck was going to be selling more, but I want to say these, these are going to be out of print or if not, they are already out of print. The Moonology cards, I actually just obtained this deck, so I have not, I've, I've pulled a couple for myself, but I have not read, read for clients yet. This is like a moon energy slash astrology related deck. Look at the card backs. So, I really like it. 
I love moons. I love astrology. And I love oracle decks. So this is going to be a fun one to read. And I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, if I do a full-blown, like, lunar reading, this could be one that I do. Um, and I don't know. I just like the I just like the feel of, like, moons, astrology. Like, that just totally gets me going. So, <laughs> Um, the other one I pulled is the Enchanted Map Oracle. I have owned this deck forever. I really like it. But I go through like, I love it and then I hate it. I don't know what it is. I think the images are just too pretty. And that's why I go through like, ugh, I can't. This is the backs. I like more simplicity in my decks. So when they're like really rich in pictures like this. It sometimes gets on my nerves. Um, I don't know. It's. It, I think it's because there's so much to focus on. But I like the fairy tale feel to it. There's a couple images like this one that are just absolutely gorgeous. But like I said, if a deck is way too pretty, like even the good tarot, sometimes that gets on my nerves after a while. Um, I can't work with it too often. So this is one of those, but I pulled it out because I missed it. And the messages are always spot on intuitive, always. So this is a really good deck. And lastly, I pulled out my beloved Oracle of the Radiant Sun. I am excited because yes, I will be using this for readings. I think I'm gonna actually create its own listing for a reading. I might do this one side by side, the Moonology, cause it's Radiant Sun and then we have the moon. So be on the lookout. If I do add like a special reading, it'll be advertised on Instagram, obviously, but it'll pop up in my shop. So Oracle of the Radiant Sun <laughs> will be making an appearance. I can't, I can't have enough of this deck. It's gorgeous. So yes. All right, my guys, my guys and my gals and my loves. Um, that is pretty much everything. That is the entire haul for my fall readings my november tarot readings so i hope you enjoyed thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing and being a part of my journey if you have any questions about what i showed or anything else in general leave a comment below and if you guys want to check out or book a session with me also click the link in my in my description box it will take you to my online store and i will see you guys later bye my loves